just came in. Looking forward to using it. I mean, you know, this is ridiculous. Look what's in this box. I just opened it. Look at the size of this box and the size of the item. I mean, come on. This is, uh, anyway, you know what? That's why I'm not making the billions of dollars. Anyway, so this is the uh, packaging. I know you can't see what's in here right now, but I'm looking forward to it. I'll scan this and have it at the end to show you what it is. So let's open it up and you have to... This is the actual packaging of it. I don't know if you can tell what it is yet. Let me see. Okay, I'll let you know. That's what it is. Okay, so that's probably going to rip. So let me open it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bunch of safety precautions, I guess. Well, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I'll be, I guess I'll scan that so you can see closer look at it. All right, so this is the box itself. I have a scale to actually weigh the item. Uh, no, it's not to the size. Okay. Nothing else in the box. So with, I recently had the iPhone XS Max, which I purchased the Apple battery case. I love the more battery, the better. Now I purchased the Apple case because it, 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 I wish the design was better. I hate that bump. I actually would have preferred it being half the size and just giving me a few hours of extra battery on a thin case. But besides that, I still used it a lot. I was getting, I did a video on it. I think I was getting 36, 37 hours out of, com, you know, continuous use. And I mean, I use it. I play videos, I record videos, I do all kinds of stuff. So about 36 hours of total use. They haven't made one for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I just purchased. So I ended up, Going with this item, and this thing is thick, 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 thick. So this is the paperwork. Let me just show you the item. Uh, let me push everything to the side. This is pretty much everything that comes in the packaging, nothing else. It's just mostly paperwork and the case itself. I'll have all this information at the end. And... This is a 10,000 milliamp or MAH uh, battery. So this should last like days. So I'm gonna try it and let you know how long I get with it after it fully charges. I don't think it's a wireless one, but I'll double check. Off, okay, those are the instructions. Turning on and off, I'll leave that on there. This is the actual battery and it looks like it's there press power button to turn on okay oh it's almost full um i'm hoping this is a pass-through where i can use my lightning usb adapter which is this this is how i offload the items i plug it in to me it's much faster i take this out i put it on the computer i work on the videos i put it together and then i upload them a lot faster than I can't do it on a small little screen. I'm not a phone. I can make I could do videos on it, but no way, shape, or form am I going to edit and everything. Too small. 
I have a 49 inch, 49 inch ultra wide screen and that's what I need. So this is the 128 memory that I use. So I'm hoping it's a pass through where I just have to plug it in. I have to take the case off. Now, according to the website on Amazon, I purchased this on Amazon, the removal is easy anyway. So I'm hoping that's an easy thing. The only, I don't like these because they end sometimes bend if you take them out wrong. So I'm hoping that's not an issue. And this is the battery itself. I'll scan this so that you can see. Wow, they even have the rating on here. For Amazon. Wow, I've never seen advertisement. For, we aim to achieve five-star reviews on Amazon from our customers. They actually, this is actually part of the product. I don't even think it's a, oh no, it's a sticker. But I've never seen this. It's very difficult to remove. They're actually advertising on the product. <laughs> Sorry, oh look, a little slot. You can hide things in there. I don't know. So let's take a close look. I showed you this. This is the battery, 10,000 I, I said. This is the lightning connector. The openings for the speakers, the volume. This is going to be for, I have no idea, because that's not on the phone. This is the phone I'm putting it on. It's today's date. And uh, this little button. It's going to be the volume, the uh, mute, and there's nothing there. So that's more, I don't know what that is. It's just a notch, another notch, power. It's plastic. It's not too heavy, but it is like a stiff, thick plastic. So it says here, open here. Okay. Do I, is that removable? Okay. Open here. Anyway, let's take a look. Okay, this is one side. Very, very thick, hard plastic. Sort of like a hockey puck type of that material reminds me of it's supposed to also i believe protect your phone from drops but i wouldn't test it it's a battery in here last thing i want to do is drop a large battery like this on the floor the top the back bottom The right side, the left side. And I usually don't get big cases like this. Right, let me figure out how to open this. I'm gonna have to go right there. Open there. All right. Let's uh, take a peek at the instruction manual. I hate looking at the instruction manual. So. Yeah, that pops out. And then this will be at the end if you lose it or whatever. You can always come back to my video and see it again. So this has to come out. Let me figure this out. I mean, it says to do it here, but I guess it's talking about the whole edge. So I finally got to this edge, and let's, let's do this. And this whole thing has to be removed. Oh yeah, okay, here it is, it's coming out. Be careful, because this doesn't look very uh, sturdy. And I think I may be doing it on the wrong side, but okay, I couldn't get it in here. Um, Be 
careful. Just pry it little by little out. And it comes out. Don't. I don't like these little thin things. I wish this would have been one thick piece. But I guess they have to make the openings and everything. And their design is not me. So. You can see the buttons there. So the rubber, when you press it, that's uh, embossed or coming out, or it's uh, thicker to get to the power button. These two, it's very rubbery. This, let me know what, let's take it completely apart. So this comes out completely. This is the actual battery. Wow, this is a thick battery. I've never seen one this. I mean, I've seen them on, I should say, on uh, USB portable, but not on the case. Usually they're about 4,000 on the case. So this is it without the uh, plastic like a thick, soft, smooth, plastic, rubbery. You know what I'm gonna say, it's rubber. More of a rubbery type of case. And then you have the top part, and this is the actual, uh, yeah. I guess this is the frame itself. It's built into the battery. Those are all the clips. So it would, let me put it all back together again and put the phone in. So I'm taking the phone, let me just clean the back, microfiber, and uh, put it in. Uh, okay, and it's already charging. Awesome. Face ID, I mean, I'm using Face ID, and the cameras behind me can still see me, and it still works. The Bluetooth on the iPhone 11, which I will be mentioning at the end of the iPhone 11 video, uh, it has much longer range. It's amazing how much longer range there is on the Bluetooth. I've already noticed it, and I've only had the phone for a couple of days, but I use Bluetooth a lot for headphones and other items, and it works very well. So you just, let me just, so after you take it apart, you just get to the edges and uh, slide in everything nice and easy first. See, slide in nicely, nicely, nicely. Wow, I can already feel that. You know what, let me, um, I forgot to do something. So let me weigh the case by itself. This is the actual weight of the item. I'm going to put uh, everything on top of each other. And this is a mailing scale. So that's the actual weight I'm getting. There's nothing else on the scale whatsoever. Yeah, it's 8.5. It should be 16 plus. So, and again, let's put it together. It's going to be twice the weight of the phone. That's a gimme. But you're going to have hopefully 10 times the battery. So, just take the frame, fit it to the edges like that. You can see that edge goes there, and this one goes here. Perfect. 
So hold on. Wow, it was easy to put in. I'm hoping this is the pass-through. So let's try the pass-through, which is this item. Ah, nope. Let me see. Maybe we gotta turn it on. Ah, uh, because it's charging. Ah, no pass through. No pass through whatsoever. And what I mean by pass through is that will the case allow me to work with items like headphones? I don't have plug in headphones. I gave the headphones to my wife, but I'm probably assuming that it doesn't work with the pass through. Usually, all works together, whether it be data. Yeah, it's just basically allowing data to come through the from the phone through the case to whatever you're connecting it to. And I use this all the time and it's just yeah, it's not. So now I gotta take it out. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. But you know what? So let me try to see if even the app starts. Yeah, plug in your dual link to get started. Nothing usually just pops up. Nothing. Okay, that's not working. So, well, mine isn't. Maybe yours does, but I couldn't find anything on the actual advertisement besides the battery size. If it did this, so this is not a, it's not a deal breaker. Cause, but man, this thing is super thick. Yeah, see if I can get even used to this. I'm not used to carrying this size phone. So let's uh, turn on the scale. Wow. That's the size complete. Pretty heavy in this day and age to be carrying that around. And it's not wireless charging. Oh, no. Wait, is it? Oh, no, I... Oh, it's allowing wireless charging. Hold on one moment. Will that charge? Now I gotta see if it off. So I gotta hold it to turn it off. Okay, now it's off. It's not charging. So I'm gonna put it on the wireless charger. All right, it's wirelessly charging. That's a good thing. So I'm able to charge wirelessly. I'm hoping it also charges the case now this is probably not a smart case one of the other options i like is that when you use the apple charger case it's a smart case because you're actually able to see the capacity of both items on the phone so they'll have when you swipe right they'll have both the batteries showing their charge capacity which is really good so let me get this fully charged try it out See how much of a battery life I get with it. I'll probably end up using it when I'm definitely going out and just taking a lot of pictures and videos. But I probably won't be using it all the time to carry with me. It'll be something I'll have to be taking off and putting on. And I hope it's not a hassle. So uh, let me try it out. Put it in my pocket. See how well it works for me. And I'll, let, I'll give you my advice on it. Or my opinion on it, I should say, because it's just mine, it's how I feel, not necessarily what you would like. So I'll give you my opinion and how much I like it or don't like it um, after I use it for a little while, a day or two. So it looks like the case is going back. It's not working for me. What I did was I just got the iPhone 11 Pro and um, I've had the Pro for about uh, probably a little under a week and I decided I wanted to make sure when I finished my video for, on the iPhone 11 Pro that I got an accurate battery amount, just the iPhone itself. So what I did was I had bought this case, this is the 10,000 milliamp battery case to as a battery backup case. It's huge, it's huge, it's big. 
But, you know, I was willing to overlook that if it would, did what I needed it to do. And what had happened was that um, I, uh, I used the iPhone 11 Pro Max for as long as I could on its own battery power so that I can give uh, a real life accurate, well, a real life, my use scenario on battery life, which turned out to be about, um, 15 hours. So I got 15 hours of total continuous battery life on the iPhone 11 Pro Max on its own battery, 15 hours straight. I was listening to audio books, watching podcasts, streaming, and everything. So I put it through a lot to waste the battery. So on my usual use, I, I think I can get a whole 24 hours without any issues whatsoever. But I was really, you know, playing videos and streaming and everything as much as I could with the iPhone Pro. So the battery is pretty good. Anyway, so I, I put it back in the battery case because I'm also doing a video on the battery case and I wanted to see how long, how much battery life I get on the case itself. So I put it back in there to charge the phone with the case. Only one problem. I put it in there last night and look what I'm up to. 2% battery. That's all it's charged the phone. And it is charging, as you can see, the charge indicator. This is on, but it's not charging my phone. I don't know if I got a defective one. So let me turn it off. You're going to see it go off. Okay, it's off. You see? Let me turn it back on. Okay, how do I turn? Oh, I just press it once and it turns on. Okay. And it's on, but it's not charging my case. Now, maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe both items need to be fully charged at the same time for the case to charge the phone. Not good for me. I need to be able to charge my phone with the case in the scenario I just gave you. So no good for me at all. No good whatsoever. I'm returning the case. It's just not worth it. I'm going to wait for Apple to come out. Hopefully they come out with their case. I bought, like I said, the iPhone XS Max battery case from Apple. I paid for it used about $90 and I love it. And I gave it to my wife and she loves it. I'm looking for it to come out for the 11 Pro Max because you can get up to 30, 40 hours with that case and the battery from the phone. So this is not working for my scenario. Like I said, you know, you can make a comment below and say you need to have both of them fully charged for it to work the way it's supposed to. I don't want it to work that way. I want it to work in this scenario I gave you. I got a dead battery. I'm going out and I just put it in my case and it charges. So I left this last night. It is 12 p.m. right now and I put it to charge at two in about two in the morning and no good, no good whatsoever. So at 2%, this is, you know, unacceptable. I mean, you can see 2% and it's in the case properly and it's charging. So the case is going back. I don't know if this video will help. I mean, your case scenario, or maybe it's a defective case. I don't know. But you know what? My first impression is no good. Not good enough for me. I'm not going to deal with all this bulk if it's not going to do everything I need it to do. I'm not going to carry this around in my pants pocket and have it drag my pants pocket <laughs> to the floor because... Uh, the weight of the case is pulling, you know, gravity is pulling uh, my pants down to the ground. It's, it's just ridiculous. And, you know, if I'm going to deal with this case and the way it is and the bigness and the heaviness, it's got to do what I needed to do. And that's one of the scenarios that I needed to do. I needed to be able to take it out of the case, use my phone up, get it all almost empty, put it in the case, and it charges everything up. So that's my review of the battery case maybe your use is different maybe it's working for you and that's great but it's not working for me so if you have the same scenario that i'm using the case for um then i just told you my experience and opinion and again it's just my opinion it means nothing whatsoever uh whether you follow it or not that's up to you so i hope you like the video i hope it helps in regards to the case 
And um, that's it. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.